Namaste and welcome to this exciting episode of Satology Debunking Mythology. Satology means science of truth or study of truth. Opposite of that is mythology, which means science or study of fake lie or imagination. Thank you very much for joining us. And as usual, our Gita competition for the US is coming up in November. And actually the competition will be on December 24th and 25th. And, and we have already started the nominations. Check out our Twitter link to get the place to register. And, uh, and you will also get a link to submit your entries into that competition. And there is a qualifying question and only those people who qualify will get to participate in the actual competition. And they are attractive prizes as usual. You all know Satology gives the best gifts and uh, the quality of the gifts we maintain. So, so today we have very special guests coming after a very long time. And uh, it's not that we had forgotten, but it's about the long schedule of people who are lined up for discussions. And therefore, it became late, long cap. But the topic is even more interesting. The history of trigonometry. And, and how in Bharat, trigonometry was being taught even way before Europeans copied it. And, and we all know the European theories, they survive for maximum 60 years. And after this, they change. And the latest theory to go away from or disappear from the current European narrative will be the DNA theory. And I'll tell you how later on in another show. So today, let us welcome Dr. ML Raja from Tamil Nadu. Namaskar, Namaskar. Erode. Erode. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Raja, before we start mm -hmm. this presentation, mm -hmm. tell me, like, how the, the Western world copied this trigonometry theories and how did it reach to them and and then they started calling a westernized name. So what was it called in India, Bharat that time? And what is the what how did it reach to them? A trigonometry is a word that has its root from Sanskrit word tiri kona midi. Tiri means in Sanskrit three. One, two, three, three. We say three. They say three. So three. Kona means angle. Angle. Angle of any uh, square or rectangle or triangle. Angle of that same. Mithi is measurement. In Sanskrit, if you say Mithi, it is measurement. So it is a mathematical branch that deals with the measurement of three angles. So that becomes Tiri Kona Mithi. It slowly, when it reaches, it becomes trigonometry. Mithi becomes metri, kona becomes gona, three retains as three, tri, T R I. That's why it is not T H R E E. Same Sanskrit word T R I retained the guy. That itself shows it is Sanskrit origin. And the, so the last one, the last one is Mithi. What is the Mithi? M I T I. Yeah. Mithi. What does it mean in Sanskrit? Measurement, measuring. measuring. Okay. Uh, three corner Mithi. become metri. Kona become gona. And try it is retained. It has not uh, converted to three. It is trigonometry. So, and this sign is another word that has its root in Sanskrit. That root is jya. When jya traveled to Arabia, it becomes some altered form. From Arabia, when it reaches Europe, it becomes sign. So, that uh, is there is any proof for that? Is it really I am correct that I will show in this presentation? Please continue. Let us begin the okay. presentation. Okay. And for the viewers, please make notes. Please tell your children exactly the way Dr. Uh, Raja is explaining. And this is the way we debunk mythology around trigonometry also today. Yes, please. Vanakkam, Namaskar and greetings. I express my wholehearted thanks to Aditya Ji and the volunteers of our beloved Satology YouTube channel, uh, beloved volunteers, and also the professors, eminent scholars, and students of 
various universities of united states of america and adjacent countries i am dr m l raja uh, i am an ophthalmologist but with the degree of post graduation in history and archaeology and epigraph these are all my contact numbers website email id in this session i am going to narrate there is an inscription on a stone uh, it is inscribed on a stone on the wall of a temple that inscription is dated inscribed 1080 years before present day that is 943 common era today that, is 2000 that means that means this knowledge was there even before also even before yes even before it even is before. it not, doesn't mean that it has existed only 1080 years it was before <laughs> maybe 1000 years or 2000 we don't know but that was mentioned no, but, uh, there but the palaces were being made by bhagwan ram also so they must be using mm. trigonometry in any way yes 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 and the prithuvaraj the palaces we, we yes. have an evidence of 1080 years old inscription that doesn't mean its age is 1080 years in correct. india bharat correct it may be 1000 5000 years or 10000 years Yes. so there is an inscription that details about the trigonometric calculation to find out the auspicious time to install shivalinga in the garbhagraha in the sanctum sanctorium they want to install shivalinga kumbhabhishega to find out the auspicious time to install that because we have to do it in a correct time good time auspicious time so for that they have utilized trigonometric calculation uh, where is the temple it is in tamil nadu state of bharat in vilupuram district near tiruvannainalu uh, the name of the village is mauli gramam or tirumudiyu uh, like that uh, mundiswaram like that many play, many names are there commonly it is called as gramam gramam in sanskrit it means village that is mauli gramam that means uh, the Uh, highest village there is a temple uh, the ishwara name is sri shivalokanatha and the ambal name is selvambikai so we tamil in call selvambikai udanamar sri shivalokanatha temple in mauli gramam in tamil nadu state of bharat this is the entrance of the temple suj temple and this is the sanctum sanctorium this is the southern wall of the temple and there are inscriptions more than 32 inscriptions inscribed on the southern wall western wall and eastern wall outer side of the sanctum sanctorium that is garbhagraha and other places also in ambal shrine also there are inscriptions this particular inscription was inscribed on the outer wall of, outer side of the northern wall of the sanctum sanctorium this is the temple this is the entrance of the temple and to the main not main entrance inner entrance this is the uh, dwara palaka of shiva tindi and mundi because mundi worshiped here this shiva it is known as mundi swaram tindi worshiped shiva in tindi swaram tindi vanam place and uh, on hearing this our honorable his excellency governor of tamil nadu uh, sri r n ravi sir visited and Uh, inspected all the inscriptions that much he was shown interest and he assured that we will protect that inscriptions see this is the thing how a, our honorable governor inspecting this all inscriptions and it this inscription is mentioned in south indian inscriptions there is a huge volume of uh, epigraphical collections inscription collection published by directorate of epigraphy Uh, under archaeological survey of india central government bharat government uh, and they published more than 40 volumes of south indian inscriptions in that volume 32 inscription number 44 whole inscription is published it is bilingual inscription one is sanskrit language sanskrit language is grantha letters that is tamil grantha letters in ancient days more than 1000 years Uh, our tamil ancestors used tamil grantha letter to write sanskrit and tamil ordinary letters to write tamil so it is bilingual these are all sanskrit portion of the inscription 
and the Tamil portion is Tamil language and thousand year old Tamil letters. These are the Tamil portion. This portion, this is portion. Uh, both are Tamil. Tamil is major portion. Uh, what the inscription says? I will read the inscription. Swasti Sri Kaliyuka Varsham Kaliyuka Varsham Nana Yarathu Narpathu Nadu That means Swasti Sri Blessings Kaliyuka Kaliyuka Varsham means in the year of Kaliyuka in 4044 See ya. Madurai Konda Kopar Kesari Pandmar That is the King's name uh, Parandari Chola Chakravati His other name is Madurai Konda Kopar Kesari His ruling year is and Mupati Aravade, see Avade Tamil. So at the uh, 36th ruling year of uh, Prandaka Chola Chakravati 1, Kali Yuka Kutu Nal, see again Kali is there. See here Kali, same Kali is here. Kali Yuka Kutu Nal, Padinan Gunur Ayarat, Yelubuti Yel Ayarat, Mupati Yer. That means Padinan Gunur Ayarat means one lakh. Uh, 100 into 1000. 100,000 is in Tamil or Indian languages is 1 lakh. So 14 lakhs. 77,000. 37th day. So they didn't mention the number of year in Kali Yuga. Even the exact date from elapsed from the beginning day of Kali Yuga. 14 lakhs. We can say 1.4 million like that we can say. So, 14 lakh 77,000 37th day. If you divide the average number of days per year, it gives exactly this day. You can, if you want, you can divide and see. So, Kaliyuka Kuttu Nal, Padinanbu Nuhayarati, Ilubutti Alayarati, Muppatthi Egalda, Aha, Thirumudiyu, Atruthali Perumanadigal. That is the name of the Sivilinga and the village name, Thirumudiyu. Another name for that village is Thirumudiyu, thousand years before. Atrutali Permanadil, because nearby there is a river, so Atrutali. Atru means river. Permanadil. Udaya Thirukatraliyaka. That means this temple will exist before that as a brick structure. This person who constructed this and inscribed this. He has changed the brick structure into stone structure. That is mentioned in Tamil as Thirukatrali. Kal means stone. Thirukatrali means stone temple. Thirukatrali aha amaipithu yuvate in this period. Most important thing. Makara nyayitu. Makara nyayitu sanikkelame revadi nal. Makara nyayitu means when sun is in makara rasi. Makara zodiac side. That is Pushyamant. In Pushyamant, always if you see Almanaks of Bharat, the sun is in Makara zodiac sign. So Makara Nyayitra means Pushyamant, Sanikala means Saturday, and the Nakshatra, from, if you see from Earth, Moon will be in conjunction with the Ravadi Nakshatra on those days. So they know a complete astronomy. That's why Makara Nyayitra Sanikala means Revedi Nakshatra, Revedi Nakshatra. That is on the Pushyaman, Saturday and Revedi Nakshatra, next portion. Kumbha Varayil, that is an auspicious Hora. Actually, uh, I can say, this Hora only become Havar in Western world. For, for a day, there will be 24 Hora or 16 Nadika. So, this 24 Hora only become 24 hours in the Western world. That again shows how, even if you say the weekdays, there are only 7 days for a week. And in Bharat, if you see, all are named after the 7 Graha. But in Western world, only Sunday, Monday and Saturday will be somewhat other names are changed. Or, uh, Somewhat it was deviated from the original name. So that is why their names are not meaning planet there. So Kumbha Varayal, that means maybe Kumbha Lagnam. This is an important thing. Moonru. Moonru means three. Uchi means height. Moonru Uchi. This is Cha Idichi. Ichi. Moonru Uchi. Padinar Adiyil. 
பதினாறு அடியில் மீன்ஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் பேஸ் அடி மீன்ஸ் பேஸ் ஸோ த பேஸ் யூனிட் இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஹைட் யூனிட் இஸ் த்ரீ த ஹைட் வில் பி ஆஃப் த்ரீ யூனிட் அண்ட் பேஸ் வில் பி சிக்ஸ்டீன் யூனிட் மூன்று உச்சி பதினாறு அடியில் சிறு ஆட் ஸ்ரீ ஆற்றுத்தடி பெருமான் அடிகள் உடைய திருக்கற்றலியின் உள்நெய் புகை எழுந்தருளிவித்து தட் மீன்ஸ் தட் சிவலிங்கா ஹூ இஸ் ஆற்றுத்தலி பெருமான் அடிகள் திஸ் சிவன் நேம் தட் வாஸ் இன்ஸ்டால்ட் இன்சைடு த ஸ்டோன் டெம்பிள் சாங்டம் சாங்டோரியம் தட் இஸ் திங் ஆற்றுத்தலி பெருமான் அடிகளை திருக்கற்றலியின் உள்நெய புகை எழுந்தருளிவித்து with this this portion completes and next portion pridishtai seidithar pridishtai means installing so thus shivalinga was installed at an auspicious time of moon ruchi 16 adi then when the height is at 3 unit and base is 16 unit at that time he mentioned year month and also nakshatra and day and also at what time as p system that as he mentioned in height of 3 unit and base of 16 unit moon ruchi 16 adi so pradishta seivithar who did it solargal moola prithya that is the main subordinate officer of sola sola kingdom who is that sola king sri prantaka devarana ஸ்ரீ வீர சோழ பெருமான் அடிகள் தட் மீன்ஸ் த பராந்த சோழ சக்கரவர்த்தி எஸ் அனதர் நேம் பிராந்தக தேவா அண்ட் வீர சோழ பெருமான் லைக் தட் இஸ் நேம் இஸ் மெனி நேம் யூஸ்வலி ஹி ஹேஸ் ஆல்சோ அனதர் நேம் வீர நாராயணா விஷ்ணு நேம் ஸோ மெனி நேம் ஒன் கிங் வில் ஹாவ் மெனி நேம் அண்ட் அவ் மகனார் ஹிஸ் சன் ஸோ த கிங் சன் வாட் இஸ் ஹிஸ் நேம் ராஜாதித்ய தேவ திங்ஸ் நேம் இஸ் ராஜாதித்ய இன் தட் ஹிஸ் ஆர்மி பெரும்படை நாயகன் தட் இஸ் த சீஃப் ஆஃப் ஆர்மி ஸ்டாஃப் பெரும்படை நாயகன் இன் தமிழ் ஹி வாட் வாட் இஸ் இஸ் நேம் வேர் இஸ் இஸ் ஆரிஜின் மலைநாட்டு நந்திக்கரை புத்தூர் மலை மலைநாட்டு நந்திக்கரை புத்தூர் ஹி பிலாங்ஸ் டு சேரா கிங்டம் மலைநாடு மீன் சேரா in that there is a nandi river and the banks of a river there is a village puttur he belongs to that place and what is his name vellan kumaran vellan kumaran sri panmageswara takshiparaga rakshai sri padam talaimeyalana that completes the inscription this is the reading of the inscription so the, in this that moon ruchi 16 adi that is height is 3 unit and base is 16 unit that is more important how it denotes a trigonometry that i will explain now in that explanation i will show how trigonometry and sin theta cos theta tan theta calculations originated what is the base of the uh, calculation who developed invented in which nation has contributed this great uh, invention to the entire world gifted this to the entire world that also we will see we have see bow arrow that is very very ancient in bharat even ramayana you can see pinaka pani ishvara is pinaka pani uh, parashurama gave that pinaka pana to rama and also rama broke vishnu uh, shiva dhanush shiva pinaka pani shiva dhanush and parasari parashurama gave vishnu dhanush to rama and rama broke uh, pinaka ishvara then then only he married sita mata and also mahabharata in that whole thing is with they fought with bow and arrow and even in tamil nadu the kings fought with bow and arrow even chera kingdom the symbol is bow arrow so bow arrow is a very very ancient and common thing in bharat how this bow arrow and string they are applied in circle and they again applied in right triangle right angle to triangle that i will show so this is the bow this is the bow this is the string this is the arrow 
Suppose if you want to release the arrow, you have to pull back the string. This is the unpulled string. If you pull back, then only the arrow will have power and it will reach the target perfectly, attack the target. So we have to pull back this uh, string, string of the bow backwards, then only it has force. This thing, if you apply this thing into a circle, what will happen? You apply it and you fix it in a, exactly fix it in a circle, what will happen? See, this is the fixing. This is the bow. This is the unpulled cord. This is the arrow. And this is the pulled cord. This string is pulled back. Pulled string. So it uh, pulled back up to the center of the circle. This is the arrow. This is the bow. So you can have two triangles here. Right angle triangle. This is one right angle triangle. This is one right angle triangle. This is 90 degree. Now you can understand. So if you take this right angle triangle, this radius, the arrow is again on radius. And this hypotenuse of the right angled triangle is another radius. This is also radius. So hypotenuse is nothing but the radius of the circle. The hypotenuse of the right angled triangle is nothing but the hypotenuse of the circle. That we have to understand. And this is the theta angle. So this becomes opposite side. Unpulled cord, half of the unpulled cord becomes opposite side of the right angled triangle. We call it as pull as ja, and this is artha ja. Artha ja means half of the ja. Later on, it becomes ja. This only becomes sign. So, this is string of the bow or half of string of the bow that becomes the opposite side of the right angle triangle. And this arrow has two parts. One is up to this, another is up to this. Up to this, it becomes kodi jya. This is jya or artha jya. This becomes kodi jya. This excessive portion beyond the string up to the arc of the circle or bow of the circle is utkrama jya. Modern, we can expect R into 1 minus cos theta. This is codigy or cos theta. So, this is the right angled triangle and this is theta angle. So, this becomes adjacent side of the right angle triangle or a portion of the R, arrow. That R portion of the radius of the circle. So, now you can all three bow arrow string and circle and right angle triangle all applied here all are intermingled. One becomes the other of right angle triangle. That you can understand. Suppose if you remove this portion, lower portion, what will happen? This will be like this. So this is half of the arc of the circle or half of the bow. This is half of the string or half of the card or opposite side of the right angle triangle, half of the chord of a circle, or half of the string of the bow, or opposite side of the right angle triangle, all three same. This is radius of the circle or hypotenuse of the right angle triangle, or the half of the pulled back chord, pulled back string. So all three one. And this is portion of the arrow or portion of the radius. It is nothing but the adjacent side or body J or cross theta. Now, this is like this. If you take, what will happen? This is hypotenuse of the right angle triangle or radius of the circle. Both are same, I would say. This is opposite side of the right angle triangle or half of the string of the bow or half of the card of the circle. So, this is artha jya or jya. This jya only becomes sine. So, this is opposite side of the sine theta. This is kodi jya or adjacent side of the right angle triangle or a portion of the radius or portion of the arrow of the bow. So, all three things. If we add this is the theta angle. 
this is sin theta, this is cos theta, and this is 90 degree. It is a right angle triangle. So, if you add Kodijia and Utkaramajia, this Kodijia and Utkaramajia, that is the radius of the circle or full arrow of the bow arrow string. Now, this is known as trigonometry. Tri, same tri. In Sanskrit, tri means three. So, that becomes tri. Kona become angle. Na, tiri kona midi gona become kona. Mithi become metri. Mithi only become metri. Wherever they measure, they metric uh, system of measurement like that, it originated. So, mithi is measurement. So, the basic thing is for a triangle, there are three sides and three angles. The sum of the whole, all the three angle is 180 degree always. If you add this angle, this angle, this angle is 180 degree. But in a right angle the triangle, this itself 90 degree. So, if you add both, this is 90 degree. So, if it increases, this will reduce. Or if it increases, that will, this will reduce. That is the uh, sin theta, cos theta ratio. That also we should know. Because it will apply it later. So, this is the basic thing of a right angle triangle. So, now I have seen sin theta, this is theta. So, sin theta is nothing but opposite side divided by hypotenuse. That we know. We are studied in uh, elementary mathematics in school. Days. Opposite side divided by hypotenuse is the sin theta. Adjacent side divided by hypotenuse is the cos theta. That we know. So, sin theta is opposite side divided by hypotenuse and cos theta is divided, adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. We have already seen that hypotenuse is nothing but the radius of the circle. We have seen many times we have seen. I saw. So, this is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. It is not, nothing but the radius of the circle. This, this is the center of the circle. This is the periphery. Uh, this is the radius of the circle. So, hypotenuse and radius of the circle are one and the same. Hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is equal to radius of the circle that we have already seen. That is the basic thing of Bharatian trigonometry, which we won't find in modern trigonometry. They are missing. This is the basis of trigonometry. They missed in copying that. So, they, they unfortunately or fortunately, they missed it. So, they didn't understand or whatever happened. They missed that important portion of the uh, Bharatin trigonometry in copying and making as a trigonometry. So, this hypotenuse is the radius of the circle because they only copied things. They couldn't understand the subject, how this trigonometry developed. So, they didn't understood that, they didn't understand that. So, they missed this copying, this also. This hypotenuse is the radius of the circle, is the base of Bharatin trigonometry. So, if you apply, if you multiply same number, this side and this side, the value will not change, so it will be always equal. So, you multiply radius this side, radius into sin theta, radius into sin theta, then we have to multiply here also, radius into opposite side divided by hypotenuse. This same thing we are multiplying by radius. So, this radius and hypotenuse are equal, so we it nullify each other. So, our sin theta is equal to opposite side. R sin theta is opposite side. This is the excellent thing in Bharatian trigonometry. R sin theta. If you multiply sin theta by R, it will come exact, exact value of opposite side of the right angle triangle. And in the same way, R cos theta, if you multiply, here also radius, here also radius, it will be oh, both are one and the same, it nullify each other. So, R cos theta is adjacent side. So, R sin theta is opposite side, R cos theta is adjacent side. This is the uniqueness of Bharatian trigonometry. You can find values of R sin theta and R ABTM, Suresh which I will explain later. So, this, you see, this opposite side is nothing but R sin theta. This adjacent side is nothing but R cos theta. So, this is the R cos theta, this is the R sin theta. So, you can have exact units of value of this length of this opposite side and length of adjacent side in units, any unit. So, if you apply this calculation into Moon Ruchi Padina already, 
that is what the word mentioned in the inscription that is the height is 3 unit and base is 16 units adi doesn't means feet in tamil tamil it also means but adi means aditalam base so uchi means not only its height uh, uh, vertically up but it is height also so this is uchi uchi means height that is 3 units if you erect any iron rod or wooden rod vertically on an earth it will give a angle to the earth 90 degree because we are erecting it is vertically upright no so it will give always 90 degree and this is the base adi means base adi talam so base is 16 units suppose if we erect the iron rod or wooden rod of 3 unit at a particular time of a day it will cast a shadow on the earth of 16 unit at a particular time 16 unit so shadow is 16 unit height of the rod is 3 unit at what time because it is a right angle triangle it is a horizon so at what time uh, this is the hypotenuse at this angle theta it will cast a shadow of 16 unit that means when the sun is at this place sun after sunrise if it reaches at that place it will give a shadow cast a shadow of 16 unit this time and what is this angle if you know then you can know the time of auspices time and if you i applied this and i found out it the angle is 10.619676 degree how i derived r sin theta we have seen opposite side that is r sin theta is this is the opposite side that is 3 unit either meter or feet with whatever unit or in the ancient days some unit of measurement a linear measurement may be there in tamil nadu so they used that unit so it is 3 unit so r sin theta is 3 unit r cos theta this is the adjacent side of the right angle triangle this is the opposite side so opposite side length is 3 unit adjacent side is 16 unit so r sin theta is opposite side r cos theta is adjacent side so it is ratio is between this and this that is r sin theta into r cos theta ratio is opposite side into adjacent side ratio this the, the inscription gives it is 3 is to 60 that is uchi is to adi this is uchi as so 3 so is 3 Three uh, is to sixteen. That is the ratio. And both said the R is common, so we can remove it. So sine theta ratio to cos theta, that is which ratio to R D is three is to sixteen. So sine theta value must be three, cos theta value must be sixteen. At what angle this will be? The sine theta will be three times, and cos theta will be sixteen times. that is if you divide the sin theta value by 3 and multiply by 16 then the cos theta value should be derived at the what angle it exactly fit gives that angle if you find out that is the angle at which sun is at height from horizon from sun so this 3 sin theta 3 value is this one 16 cos theta value is this if you divide this sin theta value by 3 and multiply by 16 it will give so for this angle if you cross check that sin theta cos theta table for 10.61976 degree sin theta is value is this cos theta value is this so it is in the ratio of 3 is to 16 so that angle up to that angle sun rays from the horizon after its rise in the east that is the thing then how to measure the time from this angle because earth is rotating on its own that's why day and night comes so on seeing that we think that sun rises in the east and sets in the west many bharatian astronomical texts mention sun never rises in the east never sets in the west it is stationary only earth is rotating like that there are these scientific weights are there in astronomical texts of bharat so it takes one rotation of earth 24 hours or 1440 minutes or 16 nautical 
or 24 hour so if you are apply one rotation is 360 degree 360 degrees for 60 nadika then what will be the value time required to rotate by the earth by 10.61976 degree then that value is if you give in minutes 42.47904 minute or one nalika 46 vinalika after sunrise in the eastern horizon and at that auspicious time there is a kumbad or our kumbadagna so the sivalinga was installed on the kali year 14 4044 and the regnal ruling year of Madurai Kunda Kopra Kesari Panma 36 and Kali day is 14 lakh 77,037 day on the Kumbha Ragna Revedi Nakshatra in the Pushya month on Saturday at one Nadika or one Nadika and 46 Venalika or 42.47904 minutes after sunrise in the eastern origin. That is the auspicious time. So, in that auspicious time, Siva Linga was did, they did the Pradishti of Siva Linga in the Sanctum Sanctorium of Mola, Karbhagra. That is the thing. So, now we can understand how trigonometry, on what basis is developed. It is based on bow, arrow, string. And who developed it, where it originated, it is the ancestors of Bharatin nation because bow arrow string is very common and they applied their mind because they are highly knowledgeable and with great wisdom they apply it why they apply it because they want to calculate the revolution of the graha because graha are not revolutioning in exact circular they know it 5000 years before only nicholas copernicus uh, they are told now but before thousand thousand years before them they know it, so it is uh, revol revolving around in an ecliptic circle. So, to find out the exact position, they need this trigonometric calculation. And also to find out the auspicious time. And also they found find out the exact direction of the uh, east, west, north, south. So, for this, they need, so they developed this trigonometric method, uh, auspicious time. And why I am saying that this moon ruchi padina already, is that thing? Is there is any other? I have explained. Is there is any other uh, thing which made me to think like that? Because this trigonic method, trigonometric method of assessing auspicious time, is still prevalent in Chera Kingdom, that is Kerala state. And this king Paranda Chola Chakravarti's son, Crown Prince Rajaditya, his Senapadi army chief is Vellan Kumara who constructed this temple in stone is from Chera Kingdom. He himself mentioned Malay Nadu Nandi Karaputu. Malay Nadu means Chera Nadu. So, he from Chera uh, origin, uh, he constructed this temple. So, he applied what is prevalent in his area. He gave this. Malay Nadu Nandi Karaputu. Uh, this Nandi Karai is in Trinalveli, Kanyakumari district on the uh, Tamil Nadu Kerala state border and within Chera Kingdom. And another important thing is King Paranda Chola Chakravarti's wife and his uh, crown prince under whom this Pellan Kumaran worked, Raja Aditya's mother was Chara Princess, Kokilan Adiga. So Paranda Chola Chakravarti married Chara Princess, and along with that princess, this family uh, from Chara reached his Chola Kingdom and worked under uh, their prince's son. Raja Aditya with attachment and love. That's another thing. And is there is inscriptional evidence for this? I thank my friend Sri K. Sivakumar who helped me a lot in tracing this inscription. His work is, uh, I, I should respect and show my gratitude to him. There is a copper plate inscription of Bhaskara Ravi Urma, 1021 Common Era, 1000 years before, Tirunelli Kerala Street. You can refer Epigraphy and Dika Volume 16. It mentions Pandi Redi. Pandi, Pandira means stone in uh, ancient Tamil in Chara Kingdom. Adi means measurement, feet. So, in that, uh, for uh, doing auspicious offering and uh, prasada and other thing to the God, when a man 
or as some uh, rod is erected on the ground and if it casts uh, cast 16 feet uh, 12 feet uh, shadow at that time is the auspicious time and at that time you have to uh, did offerings naivedya and other thing so you can see panti radiki and there is i thank asi for using this and hosur treasury copper plate it belong to sri vishnu temple of tiruvalla it is a tiruvalla temple is 108 divya desha usually in tamil nadu and kerala people are worshiping vishnu as 108 divya desha including paramapadam and vaikuntham uh, only people can see only 106 so this tiruvalla vishnu temple is one of that and in that there is a panthi radiki you send you can see sixth line panthi radiki in tamil the ancient in the, because it is seranad only no tamil people live there it is a tamil land later on it they become malayalam as their mother tongue so it all inscriptions before 800 years it will be in tamil and kerala and tiruvananthapuram sri padmanabha swami temple there is a stone inscription it mentions kollam era 384 that is 1209 common era it is agathu pandi radiki i thank the tiruvangur archaeological series and indian for using this photocopy for tiruvanandapurathu perumaal that means the vishnu at tiruvanandapuram and you see agathu pandi radiki that is when the shadow is at 12 feet and tirumoolikalam it is this is another uh, 108 divya desa tiruvanandapuram is also 108 divya desa what is the king is king indu kodai vignal year 6 uh, i thank tiruvangur archaeological series it says in the four known at 25 feet shadow see you can see tiru amidu seyakadavadu that is you have to give food offerings to the the naivedyam to the god agathu 25 adil so in the morning early morning time the shadow will be lin when the sun is at a minimum angle from the horizon when it rises and rises rises and if it reaching before zenith the shadow will reduce reduce to so at 25 feet you have to give naivedya and also agathe ayadil at 5 feet again you have to give naivedya to the swami vishnu and in the evening andin munnai that is before sunset uh, we have to give tiruvamudu that is 20 tradigi then when the shadow is on the east side and if it is at the length of 20 feet that is near sunset we again have to uh, give uh, food offerings to the god tiru amudu or naivedya we have to take so there are any number of evidence inscriptional evidence and traditional evidence in kerala kerala desa that was applied by vellanthara in this inscription this gives additional proof i will give additional proof for this also in tamil sangam literature uh, tamil sangam literature is very ancient maybe 4000 5000 years we don't know there is a patthu patthu uh, 10 poems one of that is nedunal vaadai it was uh, sung by madurai kanakayanar magan nakira the famous nakira uh, on the king talayalangana the cheruvendra pandian nadigal and a pandya king here the same trigonic met- metric mathematical basis was used to fix the exact east and west direction and north south direction this i have mentioned uh, i have detailed in our sathology uh, some Uh, astronomy and the basis of temple construction we can verify that i have explained fully but here i will explain very short that poem is madiram virigadit parappe velvai mandalam that is sun irugor purunile valukada kodakirbu then if it, uh, when it rises from east and reaches west we have to erect two wooden rod and when araina that means when at the mid noon that is when the sun is at zenith exactly at height oridiranjara that means their shadow should not be on the north or south side there won't be any shadow on that day nulari pulavar that is means who know civil construction so civil construction experts engineers civil engineers were that in bharat some thousands and thousands of years before teyam kondu based on that teyam means direction they mess exactly fixes the direction and worshiped the uh, god of east direction then perumbayar mannar koppa manevath and based on that exactly if you have to fixing the exact direction they construct the palace for the 
king. When it will happen? When the shadow will not fall or exert zenith, when sun is exert zenith, either north or south. Suppose if it is uh, sun rises northeast, it is not uh, rising every day exactly east. Some days northeast, some days southeast from our place. If it rises in the northeast, the shadow will fall on south. And if it rises in southeast, it will follow fall on north. But only when the sun's declination, Kranti, is same as the local latitude of the place, then the sun rises on the exact east of the place, exact east of the place. So on that day only, there won't be any shadow. So on the day, if you fix, if you draw a circle, and when the sun rises, there will be a shadow cutting that circle, border of the circle. That will be the exact twist. And on sun setting, if it, the shadow cuts on the circle on the eastern side, that will be the exact east. And with the fissure, fist diagrams, we can, 90 degree, we can fix north west. This is the basis of this uh, poem. So, this poem also details trigonometry, not also basic astronomy and also sun's declination, local latitude, civil construction, mathematics, astronomy, everything is there in this uh, few lines. So, how much the uh, uh, Bharatian ancestors, even thousands and thousands of years before, they are highly knowledgeable in astronomy, civil construction, mathematics. It is very important that, because uh, the thing is, like, uh, how do we perform Sandhya if we don't know the inclination of the sun? How do we yes. perform our puja for the nakshatra if we don't know the mm. movement of the sun? Because yes. in Purana, the cosmology is completely differently explained as compared to what the Western authors say. Because the, yes. in uh, Purana, is the, it is, uh, if you look Bhagavad Purana, 5th Canto, the mm. sun is moving through the nakshatra. 27 nakshatra. Mm. The speed mm. is like 13 and a half in the Uttarayan time and mm. and little less than 13 in the Dakshinayan time. Sorry, my reverse bol gaya. The 13 and a half nakshatra ke, uh, is in the Dakshinayan time and, and little less in the Uttarayan time. And that's how the days are shorter and days are longer. So the, mm. the cosmology of our culture is completely different than the West has taught us. Including the sun's movement. Not only differ, it is the exact thing. Perfect. Exact. Perfect. Absolute truth. Exact. Because see, the mm. anything Western is rejected in sixty years. Anything Western. <laughs> the latest will be the DNA theory, which I said in the beginning. It will be rejected mm. because DNA theory was created to establish the race, critical race theory mm. that yes. their race is superior, and ours mm. is purely based on guna and karma and gotra, mm. which is mm. nothing to do with any race. It is just. Mm. Like, uh, uh, you know, whatever qualities you got, your actions determine your destiny. Very similar, very uh, practical and more uh, more mm. acceptable, you know. So, what a fantastic presentation, actually. Uh, if you want to stop sharing your screen, it will be good. Uh, let me just... No, ji, I will just conclude. Okay. Please continue. Huh? Just conclude. Yes. Uh, two, three minutes only, ji. Yes. I come to the conclusion now. Yes, sir. Conclusion part is important. Right? So, this inscription of Chara Kingdom often express, usually Chara Kingdom inscription, whatever the inscriptions in Kerala state, they will express not only Kali year, Kali day they will express. I have found out more than 10 inscriptions in the Chara Kingdom or Kerala. They will usually mention, not sometimes even not mentioning the Kali year. They will directly mention the Kali date. So that is the tradition of Shara Kingdom. So Velan Kumaran followed that. So that is another uh, evidence for this trigonometry. And usually in Kerala, Shara inscriptions only, they will say month as Magara Nyayuru, time Pushya month, and Miduna Nyayuru, Tula Nyayuru, where, where the sun is in which zodiac sign. Based on that, they will mention the month. Even in today also, it's a Kerala tradition. So, Velan Kumaran belonged to Kerala. So, he adopted both these Kerala tradition, Saran Kingdom tradition. This. And Velan Kumaran, I already saw belonged to Malayanatu Nandi Karapitu. And the mother of Crown Prince Raja Deity and whom he worked is from his country, his kingdom, that is Sarah Princess Kokilanadi. So, he was more attached with that uh, princess 
and also his crown prince uh, Rajaditya. And the tradition of Chara kingdom was followed even today to perform special puja and special, special offerings, this trigonometric alteration. I have explained the sword evidence of four inscriptions. The same thing uh, Velan Kumaran, who is from Chara kingdom, followed in Gramam inscription. Uh, this trigonometric alteration that is erected a uh, rod of 3 unit height and 16 unit shared of underground at the base. And I have told that sine theta calculation or sine theta value, whether given in ancient texts of bar, then only it will be 100 percent. So, if you see Suri Siddhanta, Arya Bhatti, and many of the ancient astronomical texts of Bharat, in Suri Siddhanta second Adhyaya and Arya Bhatti in second Adhyaya, values of R sin theta for various angles from 3.75 degree to 90 degree in the rise of three, every 3.75 degree steps, it has been given and 90 degree is 3438 minute and it will be exactly fits with the modern value. If we calculate our sign data value. So, Surya Siddhanta, how many years we know? We don't know. Thousands and thousands of years. Are you between also like that? Even in those very ancient period, we have given our sign data value. That it proves that trigonometry originated in Bharat. And it has been already dealt. It is based on the bow arrow card model as a base. This model. And... This is prevalent even in Shara Kingdom, that is Kerala. One interesting thing, picture, thing is Shara Kingdom symbol is go and arrow. So that's why maybe that they followed that. So with that, I conclude. Thank you for watching. I express my heartfelt thanks to Aditya Ji and also volunteers of Satala Ji and also the eminent professors and students who listened to my lesson lecture carefully and patiently. I express my heartfelt thanks. And if there is any questions from Aditya Ji, I am ready to answer. No, I am just amazed. And from now onwards, we now know Trikon Miti is the actual name of Trigonometry. Mm. So even Trikonamiti, even even uh, and Nanri is. Uh, uh, Tamil word. <laughs> so, uh, so the the uh, the the beauty of uh, our culture, Bharatiya culture, and and uh, that's why we are good in all these rockets and we are good in missiles because we know how to calculate very well. You know, recent achievement of Chandrayaan three. <laughs> well, World is amazed, astonished. <laughs> you, know, you know, the the Chandrayaan three people are astonished, but. No, I I still go by the version of Quran and and Mahabharat and Ramayana that we we cannot go there without a permission from the Deva, and Deva yeah. don't like intrusion. You know, unwanted intrusion is not. No, maybe Isro they went to Deva Balaji Tripudi worshipped there, prayed there. Every time they launch a satellite, they will <laughs> go there. So get permission from Balaji Vishnu. Then only they are going. So they followed this pranic tradition. <laughs> I say, you see, every previous day they will go. Even Isro chief himself will go. I, I, wish, I, I wish NASA scientists should stop beef eating and should go to Balaji to take permission before they go anywhere. Because all these NASA. Then only they will get some success. Some success because NASA has seen failures. Isro, all this the failure rate is very very minimal. Minimal compared to any other. Space agency in the entire world, and that is because Balaji. And I think uh, Mangal, Mangal is considered inauspicious many times. Mars, you know, Mangal mm. is inauspicious. So my my request to the NASA scientists is: first of all, stop eating beef. Go to Tirupati Balaji Temple, take permission, and then attempt the Mars trip because I think that will be better. Because if they try to go. To Mars, actually, they have nobody has gone except India. Uh, but if they try to go to Mars, then they will have a Mangal Dasha, and I think that's what <laughs> they are suffering nowadays from. And the the but we prayed Balaji before <laughs> launching Mangal Yaan. and our scientists uh, see our Yusro scientists they are dedicated, sincere, and highly knowledgeable and hardworking. They are with the humble. 
without any ego there or thing yeah no so, i mean the the nasa the whole purpose is to tell others that how america is more advanced than others mm-hmm. and if they do not have no trigonometry then how can they go they need to know trigonometry so anyway i mean but uh, isro scientists they don't uh, they want they don't want to project that india is the super country they want to give benefits to the whole human mankind if there is any success that is their motive maybe isro should prove that once they go to the moon they heard om over there so then it will be very very beneficial so the people can do harinam maybe here maybe one day they will discover <laughs> only <laughs> balaji permits they can discover without his permission nobody can discover anything in science devan dev bhavate bhayate na you know the, like mm. the so the for the pleasing the dev devatas uh, yes one question i have for dr raja for you is that what is the period or years in which this knowledge approximately went out of india because arabic arabic people did not have any knowledge they used to take from india and then pass it on to europe this is what their yes. purpose is they never See, had any research you know they were busy in camels they were busy in fighting the way they are today mm. fighting that time too so what was the years in which it went out See, i you, went out you say century. this number 1 2 3 what you call in europe arabic numbers but arabia got these numbers from bharat i know that bharat I... to arab this in the same way damascus sword that sword you can bend the sword like this that is from bharat even <laughs> from salem of tamil nadu so yeah. it reached damascus from damascus it reached europe so they named it damascus sword so this period when around 1300 common era that is 500 600 years before uh, when this uh, gilji and uh, other people uh, invaded bharat and they got some knowledge even before that also some travelers from arabia and iran they came here and understood this and even we can say this pythagoras theorem what it is it is bodhayana theorem yeah trigonometry yeah. Uh, hypotenuse square is equal to uh, adjacent square plus uh, opposite square square this is given in bodhayana theorem Bodhan. so we cannot estimate even pythagoras period is some before uh, common common era I mean, so even during those period also slowly 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 it spread there. i mean the we cannot say yeah. yes no i mean in mahabharat period uh, this arabic people or abir jati they were a province mm. of bharat madradesh was there syria mm. madradesh sanskrit was spoken in just so, mm. 500 bc actually mm. and that is a recorded fact so not from even before alexander we can say 500 600 bc because bharat wants to give all knowledge to the entire human mankind whoever approach bharat they are ready to give so for the past 2500 years we are giving knowledge to the entire world and it mainly happened after 1300 most of the aryabhatiyam everything was translated into arabic during that uh, sultan's period and it translated from there uh, arabia to uh, uh, western uh, part of the asia to europe you know thank you dr raja for sharing thank this you, thank you. and also thank you all the viewers for watching it do like share subscribe let us know your feedback and then we will continue similar shows for similar astonishing information and there is a dr raja's playlist also which you can watch on sathology and uh, you can check out all the videos over there namaste and thank you mm, thank you nandri nandri nandri